There's something invigorating about fresh, clean air. Pure, rejuvenating air is our most essential need. Yet our supply of oxygen is so abundant, we often take it for granted. The truth is, our atmosphere is packed with toxic chemicals, particulate matter, and biological contaminants that may cause discomfort, disease, and even death. According to the World Health Organization, air pollution causes cancer and increases the risk of heart and respiratory disease. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency says, indoor air pollution is one of the greatest risks to public health of all environmental problems. In fact, the air in your home or office may be up to 100 times more polluted than outdoor air. Chemicals used for cleaning, pesticides, dust mite allergens, cooking odors, and chlorine from bathrooms can combine even at low levels to create a chemical soup. And because people spend up to 90% of their time inside, indoor air quality has become a major concern. Indoor pollution. How to protect yourself from indoor air pollutants. Warning. Silent killers in your house. The EPA, U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, has published some really scary statistics concerning indoor air pollution. Here are some of the facts. Indoor air can be two to five times more polluted than the air outside your house. Some World Health Care organizations even raise this number to 100 times. 3,000 cases of cancer in USA are caused by exposure to indoor air pollutants every year. 50% of all illnesses are caused or aggravated by polluted indoor air. 90% of colds and flus are caught indoors and only 10% outdoors. Carbon monoxide is the leading cause of accidental poison deaths in North America. You certainly don't want to become a part of these scary statistics. So what can we do to avoid it? First of all, we need to understand what these airborne pollutants are, and where they come from. And second, eliminate the pollution sources if possible, and neutralize the pollution itself. The most popular indoor air pollutant types are dust, mold spores, pollen, dust mites, pet dander, bacteria and viruses, carbon monoxide, odors, pesticides, household cleaners, exhaustion fumes, smoke, lead, asbestos. Hello there, and thank you for participating in Project Air Restore. My name is Laura, and I am excited about this unique retail market study for our Air Restore whole home system. We all know that the issue of indoor air pollution has been a growing problem since we started sealing our houses tighter and tighter to control energy costs. As a result, our homes aren't able to breathe, and as we add more pollutants, they have nowhere to go. There are lots of answers on the market. Air fresheners and candles, if you want to just cover up the problem, like turning up the stereo to drown out a car noise, filters for your furnace, electronic standalone filters, and big machines that only cover one room at a time. They all claim to work, but the truth is, most of them don't. And you only find that out after you bought one. Project Air Restore knows that real life results are the only ones that matter. And the best way to truly get the word out about our technology was to let our end users be the judge. We have given you a set of five testing questions using the Air Restore whole home system that will give us the feedback we need to market the product. Thanks again for taking the time to experience this new technology. Let's start by unboxing the Air Restore whole home system. Your system includes four naturalizers. Two of them will plug directly into a standard 110 wall socket and the other two use adapter plugs with cords long enough to place the naturalizer up high on a shelf or out of the way. The system also includes a 12 volt adapter so that you can use the product in your vehicle. When activated, each component operates exactly the same. Far right for low position, middle for the middle position, and far left for high position. Once positioned properly in your home, simple adjustments to each component will give you the perfect balanced solution for your indoor environment. So let's start right here in the kitchen. Cooking odors are very common. 
yet some of the toughest to deal with. Whether it's fish or broccoli or an onion, most people don't like those smells to linger. Find a central location in your kitchen for one of the Air Restore naturalizers and set to the far right or low position. The next time you cook a meal that has particularly strong odors, switch the naturalizer to the far left position or high and take note of how long the cooking smell lingers. You will notice a dramatic difference and smells that used to take hours to disappear now only take minutes. Listen, we spend 30% of our lives sleeping, so one of your system's naturalizers needs to be in your bedroom. You know how nice it feels to sleep on fresh sheets? Here is a great way to freshen them up without taking them off. Peel back your comforter and blankets and use the top sheet to cover up the Air Restore machine, kind of like a tent. Let the naturalizer run for one to two hours and then smell the sheets, just like they came in from outside. Now leave the naturalizer in your bedroom and keep track of how well you sleep during the Project Air Restore trial. Improved air quality and oxygen can make a world of difference for getting a good night's rest. Want the freshest, cleanest smelling bathroom without the use of harmful chemical fragrances and sprays? Plug your air naturalizer into an outlet or use a corded unit and set on a countertop. Open the shower door or curtain, raise the toilet lid, and open cabinet doors and drawers. Place the unit in the far left or high position and when you leave, close the door. Let the air naturalizer run for one to four hours and then remove it from the area. Close the door again for approximately one more hour and experience the freshest, cleanest smelling bathroom in your home. We all love that new car smell. The problem is that it doesn't stay that way forever. That french fry under the seat, that not so spill proof sippy cup, the wet dog who jumps into the car before you can grab him and gets his scent on everything. Well, let's face it, a car can smell pretty funky. Plug in the 12 volt adapter with one of the corded naturalizers and let it run in your vehicle for four to six hours. The test works best when you are able to circulate air through the ductwork so that any nasty mold or mildew smells can be treated as well. If the car belongs to a smoker, you may need to run the naturalizer overnight for the best results. If you've ever played sports or had a child play sports, you know that one day your shoes will turn on you. That's a good thing because it means there was a great deal of exercise taking place to cause that stinky sweat, but man, that smelly bacteria can really get aggressive. Try this little test. Grab the pair of shoes that are the worst offenders and put them in a small gym bag or box. Put the corded naturalizer inside the bag or box and let it run for two hours with the top closed. The nasty bacteria won't like the Air Restore and will actually start to die off. No more cover-up sprays or pads. Well, that's it. You have completed the Project Air Restore field trial. And the last thing you need to do is complete the short two-question survey regarding your results. If you have any more questions about the system, please contact the person who asked you to participate in our market study. Thanks again from all of us here at Air Restore USA.